Today, I want to share a bit about the memory and story of my little daughter. I'm, as a father, I'm so proud of her. Honestly, I'm so proud of her. And I really like to take this opportunity to, to tell everyone that I love my daughters very, very much, Rachel. And I'm so proud of her for what she has been achieving. We're here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Rachel and Hugh and to share with them in their happiness and hopes for the future. The marriage ceremony provides the opportunity to unite friends and family in one place, to celebrate in the joy of the occasion and to offer Hugh and Rachel support not just for today but throughout their married lives together. Rachel, today, tomorrow, for the rest of my days, I promise to stand beside you, to dance with you in times of joy, to lift you up in times of sadness. I promise to turn to you for solace, for encouragement, and for inspiration. I promise to be faithful and true to you. I promise to shower you with love and affection every day for the rest of our lives. I, Hugh Cameron Strother, Take thee, Rachel Avelina, to be my wedded wife. I, Rachel Avelina, take thee, Hugh Cameron Strudling, to be my wedded husband. It now gives me the greatest pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife, and kiss your lovely bride. <laughs> I'll finish with something that I've learned from my own marriage. Uh, nothing really changes, uh, and that's great, although it does mean that you, Hugh, will continue to disappoint Rachel in many, many ways for many, many years to come. Again, everyone, please raise your glass to bride and groom. Rachel and Hugh. Your beauty shines everywhere you walk. Your smile is incredibly infectious, and I love every single thing about you. I promised I would be... <laughs> I promised I would protect you by sword and by shield, and I mean that to this day. I hope to be your shining knight, your prince, for you will always be my princess, and I love you very much. Before I met you, before I saw you two together, I was more critical than open to the idea of Rachel giving her heart out to someone. But I'm glad she gave it to you. Because if love is meant to make you feel anything, it's meant to inspire you and give you hope. And that's how your love for each other makes me feel. I hope and wish all the best for both of you in all walks of life. To even more adventures, great food, more plushies, and an everlasting love. To you and Rachel.